Yes, I am Chris Gold with Geeks on Tour, and this is Fun with Photos. I find that something people need to learn, understand more about is whether your photos are in the cloud or on your computer. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. And first, some terminology. If your photos or anything is in the cloud and you want it on your computer or phone, whatever local device, that's called download. If your photos or other files are on your local device and you want them in the cloud, that's called upload. Just one of my little pet peeves when people say that wrong, it's, it's important to get the words right, the terminology right. So why is that important? Google Photos is in the cloud. Even though you can view them using your computer, you are not seeing photos on your computer. They're in the cloud. So what if you have a photo in the Google Photos that you want to work with a software app that's on your computer? You have to download it. We have a little video. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and Learn Google Photos. And I am looking at my Google Photos on the computer right now. I'm at photos.google.com. And I have this cute little garden frog that I want to add some words to. You know that Google Photos on the computer, the web version, can't do that. So first I need to download him to my computer. So I'm getting it from the cloud down to my computer and I've already done this. There there it is. Now I open the favorite tool I have for adding words. It's called Snagit. I put my words in and now and then save it just save it in that same place. Now, how do I get it back up to Google Photos? It's done. Now I need to get it back up. That's what upload is for. Upload from computer. And there it is. I select it and open it. And it is uploading to my Google Photos. I don't need to put it in an album. And there it is. So first I downloaded to the computer to use the computer tool that I needed. And then I uploaded it back to Google Photos. Okay, so that's, that's the first lesson. Just one photo, down to the computer, work with it, back up to Google Photos. The next one is making a backup. You say, well, wait, I thought Google Photos was a backup. Well, it's a backup of what's on your phone up to the cloud. But when you get new phones, then your cloud copy is the only. You probably want a backup on your computer. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. And this quick tutorial video is about downloading photos from Google Photos. Google Photos stores your entire library of photos in the cloud so you can see them with any connected device. But most people also want a copy on their local computer or backup hard drive. But here's the deal. On Google Photos, it stores all of my photos. I have thousands and thousands and so many similar shots. I don't need to have all of those. I don't want to have all of those on my hard drive. I have a plan of making a monthly album of just my best shots and those albums I do download from the cloud in Google Photos to a backup hard drive on my computer. Let me show you how. First I want to show you my hard drive. It is a external hard drive just plugged into my computer and it has all sorts of stuff on it but here is one folder where I put all my backup of my pictures and I've been doing this for the whole time and if I show you 2018 for example you'll see that I have one file a zip file for each month January February March I also make a zip file for special occasions like a diving trip that we went on. Now let me show you my Google Photos. So here I am in Google Photos and as you know it's just one giant stream throughout the years 
of my 70, 80,000 pictures, okay? So I make an album for each month. I click on albums, and this is July 2019, so here is my album for June. I open that album and select the three-dot menu and download all. That creates a zip file and then it stops and asks me where I want to store it. I want it on my Seagate backup drive in the pictures folder in the folder for 2019 and I like the album name 2019-06 June and it's a zip file. I click Save. If yours did not ask you where, then I recommend that you change your browser settings. On Chrome, it's the three dots in the upper right, then Settings, then Advanced all the way at the bottom, then Downloads. And notice I have this setting turned on to ask where to save each file before downloading. Otherwise, they all go to the same place. Your choice, but that's my recommendation. So now let me look at my hard drive. There is June, and I've already done January, March, but it's a zip file. Now, I think that's fine. This is my backup. I don't use my pictures on my computer. This is just, if something should happen to my Google Photos, I have my best photos for June. If you do want them visible on your hard drive, then you just right click and extract all and it creates a folder with the same name as the zip file and all your photos are inside there. On a Mac, you do the same thing, just double click. Rather than right clicking, you double click and it will unzip. Unzip your file and there are all the photos. Last thing, what if you don't make albums? So you don't have an album for June, but you still want to make a zip file, a backup of all your June photos. You can just search for June 2019, then select, you click on the first one, and then you all the way down to the bottom and you shift click on the last one, it tells me 245 pictures are selected. Those are all the ones from June 2019. And I click on download and it will do the exact same thing I just showed you with, with an album. So now you can rest easy knowing that all of your photos are in Google Photos, but you also have your best for every month locally on your hard drive. I figured the end of the year and start of a new one was a good time to review how to have a, a backup. And if you haven't done any of this, you could even select all from the year or select all your favorites from the year so that you have your best photos on your computer, whatever should happen to the, your Google Photos and the internet. You have your best. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour.